Ye it's your boy Gruff here, back another video, and today I got the best with you guys, man. Today we're going to be rocking the headliner fourth anniversary units from Part One MUI Goku. You feel me? Um, the person that um got leaked. You know what I'm saying? In Part Two, we have. Super Saiyan 3 Dragon Fist Goku. Another Goku unit, right? Um, you feel me? So that's part two. And then the last headliner for part three is the Ultra Super Vegito. So we're going to be rocking them all three together because I wish I could do an all Ultra Summonable team, but I don't have Ultra Gogeta. So I'm like, I might as well just rock all the headliner Saiyan Saiyans together like the the three main headliners for this anniversary all together and see what they can do bro because you can actually rock all of them together you can actually the fact that you can rock them on the sand team is insane you can leader have slot this vegeto they all buff sands and then like for your blue unit you could rock ultra gogeta as well uh, but i have nama goku instead because i don't have ultra gogeta because i got shot there on this banner and for the bench i put kakarot goku the zenkai buff mui goku and then super saiyan 3 the old one the zenkai buff dragon fist and the fact that they're all Gokus, they can get the Z ability, and then Vegito is leader and stuff. So that's basically my team setup. We're gonna hop into four matches right here, and let's see what the you know the the three headliners can do in PvP. So first match here, we're facing up against a um, Super Saiyan team. So I don't know why I popped the strike card, and when I had like three last cards, like had a feeling that he was gonna go to Ultra Gogeta for the strike cover change. So I go with the blast card here. I'm just chilling, sized up immediately. And I just go to Dragon Fist Goku, and then I combo drop here. Got a feeling he was gonna go to the free to play Gogeta, so he can go color counter me. And the fact that this, like I said, this Vegito, every time you use a card, he gets card draw speed, bro. He gets key back, he gets a little bit of some debuffs. You can farm your Rise of Rust very, very quick with this guy, which is um, insane. So I charge up my green card, just get that extra last card right there. Thought I can get, excuse me, thought I could get my Dragon Ball, but unfortunately don't. So. Chilling here, wait for him to size up, bro, and Vegito's going insane. So I pop this, uh, I go to Dragon Fist Goku, just in case you go to Gogeta so I can know if I cover change, but he doesn't. So I go to Igby Goku, he's gonna play aggressive so I can just buy time. And then I think I just popped the blue card right here just to get rid of his banish. So cool in here, he goes to Ultra Gogeta, like I said, buying time. I gotta wait until like, what, three more time accounts? He catches me there, and I think he pops the blue card, so uh, MUI Goku is my lowest start out of the three, but he did survive that, which is nice. So, go to Vegito here. One thing about this Vegito is that once he lands his ult card, he can go type, uh, he can nullify endurance for 30 timer counts. So, yeah, he's doing some good damage here. I kind of just have to eat this damage because, like I said, he hadn't popped his, uh, his ult yet. So, yeah, uh, Vegito is, you know, perfectly fine. I think he pops the green card here. Yep. So nullifies cover chain, so I tackle, attack immediately, he catches me there, and then um, I go with the mid-range strike, and then he rises and rushes, so he rises and rushes me. I believe he didn't pop the old card, right? I don't think he popped the old card, so I go with the blue, just because he's been spamming a lot, he's been generating a lot of blue cards, so I guessed him there, go to drag up his Goku, can't attack immediately, so I gotta make sure I get this next combo so I can basically guarantee a kill on somebody, so. He goes to the blast card, he sidesteps, so I catch him there, drag his Goku, like the amount of damage he does, like look, like that's two cards, bro. Two cards he's doing, that's three cards, and then he goes to the free-to-play one, which makes sense, so right here I go to Vegito, and then I go to MUI, because I can buy time with his gauge, so even though I popped the old card, this Vegito has to pop either an old card or a blue card to get rid of like my, my real advantage, so I can buy time for the five time accounts that I'm locking on MUI Goku. And then we're straight. So 93 seconds, then I'm out of here. So yeah, he pops the blue card. He can't really do much. I can just size up easily out of it. And then, you know what I'm saying? I got my double card draw speed and then I just finished off with the blue card. So yeah, this team does a lot of damage, bro. You know, all of them are feature boost as well. So you Zenkai buffing two of the units there too. So this team, does a lot of damage, bro. <laughs> they do a lot of damage. That's why they're the headliners, bro. Um, they want everyone to summon for every part. They do They do some destruction damage. So, next match here, I'm facing my boy Ryzen, bro. He is rocking a movie saga team. So, 
right here we're going to play with no rush because he's in the same guild as me like count guild shout out to count guild so no rush in this match which is nice so i'll go to vegeto wait for him to sidestep we have blast cards in our hands he only has strike cover change right so look at the blast damage that vegeto is doing um insane like he has some good blast damage not gonna lie to you so um like i said these these two units i mean we do focus on strike attack like even on my z ability for him like my equipment's on him it's all strike attack so the fact that his blast attack, his blast attack is doing that much too is pretty impressive not gonna lie to you so yeah um i'm cooling here with emmy while just trying to buy some time trying to see if he was going to sidestep but he backed out which makes sense so i try to attack but my gaze is gone so i actually no I actually dash for when he popped the blast so i couldn't get the auto thing but i go to drag up his goku here just because we're type advantage just to soak up some of this damage from gogeta i believe i actually go to vegeta right here because after enemy attack is over he does heal 10% so if unit taps me or after they tap attack me or they tap shot me I could get my health back so I'm trying to see if Ryzu is actually going to do some tap shots but he doesn't so he does um, he does the mid range strike cancel so I just took advantage with a mid range strike and I'm popping these blast cards because I'm have a feeling that Dragonfish Goku is going to pull up soon but he does not go to Dragonfish so I popped the green card here popped this extra blast card and we're just trying to get Tapion out the way. So I'm trying to kill Tapion with MUI. So his little death damage doesn't do as much. So I sidestep here. Pop the blast card. And then I think I just popped this blast card as well. And we do kill Tapion. So we're going to take as less damage as possible. Because we're type advantage. We killed a yellow with a red. So my units in the back aren't going to take that much AOE damage. Compared to if I use the other two. So I have enough time here. He tapped me out. I can get my gaze back. I tap him here and the gate is basically gone the timer counts locked in for five timer counts is gone so pop the blue card here i think i go with a full range strike right here he was not expecting me to do that right so i go to dragon fist goku nullify cover change for 10 timer counts and we do just kill the uh ultra gogeta so now it is a 3v1 i sidestep immediately get the pv let dragon fist goku do his thing I should have just popped my main ability here just to get the extra double card off speed, but I wanted to finish off with uh, Ultra Gogeta's ultimate card. Um, so yeah, I go to strike card, I go to Vegito, he actually just uh, forfeits the game, which makes sense because the game was basically over. So the team does a lot of combos, bro. Like the fact that two of them can get double card draw speed and then you have this guy that if you chain combos he can get up to four card draw speed at like one moment or three card draw speed at one given moment is just ridiculous it's just ridiculous bro you can farm so much cards bro it's insane so yeah next match here we're facing up against a future team so he has a future team but he leaders vegeto so it's kind of like a, you can kind of say vegeto in a way the better version of future gohan like they both have endurance i know future gohan has support he can get the um he can destroy cars off the combos and everything but in terms of like just offensive damage the vegeto does better because the you know future gohan is aging right um he definitely gonna need a plaque for him to uh re resurrect again but he he aged like fine wine and you can definitely tell that he's aging he's not doing the most damage like he once was so that's why this guy probably rocked vegeto he's also getting the feature boost and then his Z ability is probably better for the team. The double strike, uh, the, the double defense, and then the extra pure strike damage to to everyone since he's leader is pretty nice. So he goes through droids here, and right now he definitely can rush because even if I go to the yellow Vegito, he can rush anybody. So I go to right here, type advantage, type uh, advantage for me. He's doing his thing. He can definitely switch back into 17 after this card right here. No. So he just rushed right here, which was interesting. And I have no idea why I swapped out to MUI. I have no idea why. Like, I don't know why I did that. Vegito could have definitely tanked that rush. But we did guess him, luckily. He did guess the blue card. So right here, I popped the main ability just to heal up. I don't want him to, front, for some reason, able to be able to tap me out or something. So I did pop the main ability. We also notified cover chains. So whoever he switches to. We're able to use as many cards as possible before we rush. So I think I ended off with this old card. He goes to VB. VB's type advantage. He's going to take less damage from me. Which makes this, which is perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine for him. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're cool in here. Um, I do have my gauge. So I'm tap, getting tapped right here. You guys see I'm slowly getting my health. 
so I can get my Vegito back to full health. You guys see there, the two taps that he did, I was able to get my health full. So I actually lose this class right here. I had a terrible, like under 900, which was just terrible. So I think he actually pops the main ability right here. And then he just instantly pops the old card because he knows that he has a full hand of strike cards. I have a strike cover change unit. So he pops the old card. <clears throat> Gladly that this does not kill Dragon Fist Goku. Like it doesn't. So that's a good thing for me. I can heal every time I land a card with Dragon Fist Goku. So it's not actually the worst thing. So he goes with a full range strike, which was interesting. I'm able to take advantage of this. I think this is my second time with Dragon Fist. So we do nullify cover change. We're able to heal up a little bit every time. And we do take out the vb right there i'm surprised he didn't go to his vegeto because he could he has endurance and everything but i guess he was just scared of me nullifying his endurance with my old card which makes sense so we do pop this green card with my goku and i pop the strike card just to pop his first life and then i could rise and rush anybody it doesn't matter um if he goes to the droids or not definitely him not going to the droids is going to be the better option for him and it's just crazy the fact that i was able to guess his rush and how the momentum of the game changed bro he was literally had the upper hand and once i guessed his rush like the game literally just shifted in my favor and that's why I like the rise of rush mechanic is so bs bro because this guy was playing better than me and i guessed his rush and then you know the turn the tables has turned bro like literally like it's insane how one rush can literally change the whole match so i go with a mid-range strike and i pop these blast cards and then that's basically game. So yeah, these you know these three do insane. They're, they're really good, bro. And if you have them at like max stars, bro, like all three of these units do so much damage together. Like it's insane. So yeah, uh, out of my out of the three units, who do I like more? I like uh, MUI Goku more when you actually like every now and then you play aggressive and passive. I hate the MUI Goku users that just do absolutely nothing where they just like stay in the back all game like that's not the way i like to use any I goku i feel like you should be able to play you should play aggressive and passive you know the fact that he can control the game is his advantage like that's like what mui goku did what ui signed did. he can control the game you can control your he changes the enemy's play style so that's why i like mui goku out of the three but other than that i think Vegito was cool i think i gotta just get better with his like counter like when's the best time to use that little strike counter Dragon Fist Goku, I feel like Dragon Fist Goku is pretty one-dimensional. You just enter the field, do your strike damage, build up your gauge, and then towards the end of the match, he gets very scary once he gets his gauge filled up because he can take away your vanish and stuff to enhance the build, uh, main ability and everything. So I think Dragon Fist Goku is pretty one-dimensional in terms of just, you know, strike damage, side stuff, card draw speed, and then towards the end, once you build up his gauge, he gets really dangerous. So... That's not really been my type of units where they just do one thing and they excel at. So, it's all good. But, he counters me here. Now, I'm chilling here. See if he goes with a strike. I sidestep out of there. I tap out. So, I go to MUI Goku. I have my little gauge thing. He taps me here. So, I PV him, which is nice. And I think I actually popped the main ability. So, I heal. Get the double card draw speed. I'm not going to be worried about literally nobody right here. So, I'm popping these strike cards. Now, I think he actually goes to... Tapion when I pop no does he go to Tapion right here or does he let Dragon Fist Goku take the old damage let me see I think he actually goes to Tapion yeah he goes to Tapion right here I thought I was going to be able to one shot Tapion but since I have a six star MUI I was literally like a couple thousand off for killing him unfortunately which kind of sucks so yeah Tapion going to do his thing I'm waiting for him to see if he combo drops, which he does not. So I'm just staying in with MBY. Yep, I had a feeling he was going to do that. So I popped the strike card here. And then I tap him here. Then I popped the green card to see if he goes with like a mid-range blast card, right? So I think he actually rises and rushes me because I did the mid-range blast card first. Which is actually a good play. It's a great play. Like a full health dragon for Goku that you're able to take out. And he, and I didn't guess the rush because I popped the blue. I picked blue. He literally just popped the blue card right in front of me. So, Dragon Fist Goku dies. I should have went with the tackle uh, just to play it safe. But even then, he could have popped his main ability and probably killed one of my units anyway. So, uh, I guess I'll have to take uh, that um, that little scenario, unfortunately. So, I'm waiting for him to do his mid-range blast, which he does as well. And I'm able to uh, get my revenge, you feel me? So, I popped the strike card here. I don't think he guessed me as well. So, we do take out his MUI Goku. 
And that helps. That helps a ton, bro. And my Goku is annoying to deal with. Now, I know Dragon's Goku is out so scary. Like I said, when he's last man and he gets his enhanced abilities and his gauge filled up, he's, um, he's very, very scary. So, yeah, we go to Tapion here. I tap and I'm able to banish out. We do kill Tapion, so he does get this old AoE damage. But since we killed with MUI Goku, he's not going to do as much damage. So, that's actually a good thing. So, yeah, we go here. I think I go and stay in with Dragon Fist Goku and I pop the strike card and we're able to get priority. And then we basically wrap it up with Ultra Vegito. So yeah, um, all three of these units together do pretty solid, bro. Really solid, really fun team. And yeah, just Sans. Sans is one of the better teams in the game. So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll grow up, man, and I'm out. Peace.